ProPlanner's per-time estimation allows users to perform observed, estimated, and calculated time studies. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to perform an observed time study. I'll use the same file to demonstrate how to perform a calculated time study using ProTime Estimation. I'm going to begin by opening the study file, going to the Calculated Time tab, selecting a task, and viewing a calculated time study. Now for each of the tasks, I can select a predetermined time standard to define the elements of that task. ProTime Estimation comes with several predetermined time standards, and most of them can be used similarly within the program. One standard that is significantly different from the others is MTMB. Here I can type a series of commands or a full sentence that describes the process. As I watch the video, I can see that the operator is going to select a filter, lift the filter, turn around, and walk five steps. When I click Save, the normal time is calculated from the sum of those elements. I can now select another task. I'll view task 4.2 and select the basic most standard. I can either type the element codes into the spreadsheet to build my time study, or I can go through the element tables to find the codes and double click to add the element to the table. Now in the video, the operator actually removed six caps, which means she performed the first element six times. I can set the frequency column to six to account for this. In the internal column of the second element, I will type a one because she was holding the caps in her right hand while performing the first element, so there should be no additional time included in the study. Again, I can look at the normal time column on the left and see the sum times of the elements of this task. I'm going to skip to task 4.6 and demonstrate a few other tips using mode apps, which is used very similarly to MTM1 in ProTime. I will start by adjusting my screen so that I can view the descriptions of the elements. I can search for and select an element from the table or type in the code by hand. If I have an element that is not defined by the standard codes, a machine time, for example, I can set the type to P for process time, then type the time followed by a dash and the time unit in the code column. If I have simultaneous elements, I can enter one code in the left code column and one in the right code column, and the larger of the two will be summed into the total task time. I can also indicate whether an element or set of elements is high skill or low skill using the SC or special code column. If an element is performed multiple times, I can use the frequency value and parentheses in the code column. If one element is internal to another, I can use arrow brackets in the code column to account for this. As I mentioned, there are several other predetermined time standards you can use in ProTime estimation, and the details of each can be found in the help manual. If you use a customized time standard, you can edit one of the preloaded standards to fit your needs. To demonstrate this, I've gone to the template manager, I'm going to choose a code template and export it. I will also export the lookup file that this template references. These will both be sent to Excel files that you can edit. As you can see, both files have now been exported. I will begin by editing the lookup file. To add an element, I will insert a new row and then add the element's code, description, and time, keeping the same format as the rest of the file. Here I'm defining an element to climb or descend a short step ladder. When I'm done, I'll save my changes and then move to the lookup file. The lookup file contains the table that you see in ProTime Estimation. I want to add the same element I just added in the template, so I'll copy an existing element to maintain the same format, and then I can edit the row to display the new element's name, code, and description as I've already defined it in the code template. After I save the changes, I'll go back to the template manager in ProTime and I can import the lookup file and the template that I just edited. Once the templates have been refreshed, the changes I made to the template and to the lookup file are reflected in ProTime, as you see here. The last thing I'll point out is that you can set an allowance on each task you study and the standard time for that task will reflect the allowance. Now that I've demonstrated how to create and edit calculated studies, let's take a look at how this information is used. I'll go to the Task tab, which contains a summary of all the studies you've performed. Since ProTime Estimation allows you to perform observed, estimated, and calculated time studies, you can directly compare the normal and standard times established in those different studies. In this case, the standard times for the first two completed tasks are similar. 
This means that no allowance may be needed. Oftentimes, this is not the case, and this comparison between the observed time and the calculated time can be used to establish new standard times for processes or set new allowances given to the operators for variation in performance or other factors. If you'd like more information about ProTime Estimation, please view our other videos or contact us through our website.